Well, I got the new belt on. It took some doing. Um, I am using the old. Let's see if I. Whatever I did with my flashlight. Well, anyway, I think you can see it. Idle or pulley. Um, I will take a quote from the guy, or kind of go on the same bandwagon as the guy who said, uh, talked about it in his YouTube channel. Is um, I'm not going to get into the minutia of what is and is not the right thing to do. This vehicle was designed with the center idler pulley. Regardless of whether or not it can technically go without it, which whoever did the last belt on this one uh, did not use it, use the right kind of belt per se. Maybe it didn't harm it. Maybe it did. I don't know. All I'm going to say is I feel better putting the right belt on this. Um, as you can see by the old belt, <clears throat> this ooh, the second band was coming undone good thing I got into this and fixed it at any rate pretty bad huh and also also I'd like to say uh, it was very beneficial to undo this and if you have trouble getting down one of the pulleys which yes I have the jack supporting the motor one of the pulleys is right here. This is, I believe, the alternator. I can't think of anything else it would be that looks like that. Um, and I was able to get the belt on there. If I just come down here, big hand, in spite of my big hand, and just so you have an idea, depending on the brand, extra large gloves are just too small for me. Some are fine, some are not. Most of the time I have trouble. In any case, uh, able to get my hand up in there and find the belt hang down, pull it around the pulley. So that's just right around the corner from this guy. All right.